Ranger. Fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty Hayo Silver. The Lone Ranger. Hayo Silver! Away! With his faithful Indian companion Tonto, the daring and resourceful masked rider of the plains, led the fight for law and order in the early West. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. The Lone Ranger rides again. Good place to make camp, Kimazami. I don't see any sign of water, Toto. We need it more than shelter. Silver and Scout. Toto, look over there. Uh, me think old fellows act plenty silly. Yes, Toto. Anyone who tries to settle an argument by fighting is silly. Well, what they do now? Looks like they're going to shoot at each other again. Hey, look at that, right, Jack? Hey, a masked man. And an engine, too. Plug it, Moss Horn. Uh, oh, I can't. My gun ain't loaded. Drop your guns, both of you. Well, I wouldn't, only mine's empty. Well, that's mine. It's empty, too. But what right have you got to be horning in on a private ruckus? Don't you fellas know there's a law against dueling? No, that's right funny. Coming from an owl hoot that's wearing a mask. Don't let this mask fool you. I'm no outlaw. All I want is an explanation for your gunplay. Well, if you gotta know, I caught this sidewinder sneaking up on my shot. Don't you believe the varmint? I was only looking for a stray burrow. That's hardly enough reason to want to kill each other. Well, this shooting's been going on a long time. Flapjack here and me, we used to prospect together. That is, until I heard he, that he said I left him laying on the desert with a broken leg. I never said that, Mosshorn. I knew you went for help, but somebody told me you claimed I'd stolen your poke. Your guns, Kimasabi, them plenty old. Thanks, Tonto. These cap and ball revolvers don't seem very effective. What are you talking about? Why, them's old Navy coats. That's the best shooting iron that was ever made. They sure are. I'd rather have one of them than a dozen of those newfangled cartridge guns. Your guns so good, you plenty bad shots. Well, Did you hear that, Mosshorn? He's belittling us. I heard what he said. Listen to me, Injun. Let me tell you something. Either one of us could shoot the wings off of a fly in a winter storm. And I take it you both aim to miss. Well, you see, it will... But... Why, you old honorary horn toad. You've been a-missing on purpose. What? Well, it appears to me you've been doing the same thing. I'm... Well, look at me. Dern my hard. Talking to you, Flapjack. Why, you can canker us all, me goat. Seems I've been making the same mistake. It's been a year since I sunk low enough to swap words with you. Your exchange of words doesn't seem to have hurt either of you any more than your exchange of bullets. Well, uh, I reckon we've been a couple old fools. We've been listening to other folks' lies. You shouldn't have let troublemakers break up your friendship. Well, us old prospects has got a lot of mule in us. When we're riled, we get stubborn and contrary. Yeah, but our feeling was always kind of friendly, like. <laughs> you savvy, mister? Yes, I... I think I do. Then you're the only one around here who does. But now we're through burning powder at each other. <laughs> and it's all you're doing, mister. How can we pay you? You owe me nothing. Be sure you got the right one, eh? Perhaps you can tell me where we can find grass and water. 
Well, there's good grass a couple of miles on, but the water's only good for horses. Our canteens are empty. Well, I just come on over to my shack and I'll fill them up for you. I just towed it in a new keg of spring water on my burr. It's right, right over here, just short way. Come on, follow That's fine of you fellas. That's all right, boy. Where'd you get the stock certificates, old timer? Oh, them? <laughs> Make mighty pretty wallpaper, don't they? I won them in a poker game. Yeah, thought I'd put them up again a dollar a bet. Hey, of course, they ain't worth nothing, you know, but I thought the yellow and green kind of dress the place up. <laughs> I see they were issued by the Red Gap Mining Company. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, mine closed down, oh, about two years ago. Yeah, did, the ore wasn't worth enough to pay for the digging. <laughs> Here you are, Injun. You got legal title to that paper, Morshorn? I sure have. <laughs> Thought I got him from worked for a mining machinery company. The company owned him some money, so he took their stock in on the debt. Well, I guess Tano and I must be moving along. Yeah, we're down around this way again. Be sure to drop in and see us. <laughs> you, you won't find a student next time. <laughs> no, sir. Morshorn and me is made up for good. Yeah. And tomorrow I'll be back and we'll go prospecting again just like old times. <laughs> yes, just like old times. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. Well, good luck. Adios. So long, Larry. So this is the Red Gap Mine, huh? Sure don't look like much. Well, it looks won't matter after it's all over with enough high grade ore for the suckers to see. Take a look around and see if you can find Matt. Yeah, sure, boss. Matt! Hey, Matt, where are you? I'm coming. Hiya, Moose. Hiya, Silk. Gee, I'm glad to see you. Did you get my wire all right? Well, we wouldn't be here if we hadn't. What's the idea of saying not to sell any Red Gap stock till we saw you? Yeah, sure, Silk had our sucker all lined up. All we had to do is show you That's it, you don't off. have to salt it. When I was digging that hole to plant that high-grade stuff, I found as rich as gold vein you ever saw. What, in that mine? Yeah. Are you sure, Matt? Positive. Come on, I'll show you the ore. Yeah, it certainly looks like the real thing. It is. It'll last, say, about $2,000 to the ton. Where'd you find it? Right near the main entrance. The men who dug the lateral shaft only missed the vein about a yard. Hmm. This changes everything. Now, the first thing we have to do is get a hold of enough stock to reorganize this company. Hey, wait a minute. You mean instead of selling the suckers, we buy and become honest businessmen? That's right. But right now, we don't own enough stock to control the company. Well, I've been asking around town. There's only one man that has much of it. Who's that? He's an old prospector named Mosshorn. He has the walls of his shack papered with the stuff. Everybody's joking about it. Maybe we can talk him into selling. I don't think so. He's pretty ornery and he won't sell for a million dollars. Well, if he's that stubborn, Moose here may be able to persuade him. We'll pay him a visit tonight. Matt, you can show us where he lives. Hmm. <laughs> uh, come on in. Door ain't locked. Well, hello there, fellas. What can I do for you? Good evening. I understand you own a number of shares in the Red Gap Mining Company. Yeah, you heard right. Yeah, yeah there they are. Oh, uh, well, they make, make nice-looking wallpaper, don't they? Yes. Yeah. I uh, wonder if you'd be interested in selling them, for a fair price, that is. Oh, shucks, they ain't worth nothing. <laughs> Only a fool would want to buy anything like that. You know that... Hey, wait a minute. Ain't this a fella that's been running around town asking questions about that there stock? If you sell out, old timer, we'll make it worth your while. No, I reckon I'll keep them. Besides, uh, they look mighty pretty there. Like the looks of them. I think you're making a mistake not selling. Who says I am? All right, Moose, take care of them. I did <laughs> Hey! How are we going to get these certificates off the wall? They're pasted on tight. The paper underneath is loose. Give me a knife. Yeah, we can get them off the paper underneath later. Why, you want me to pull, Catch? All right, Moose. 
Well, everything will be a whole lot easier on you if you'll just sign all of this stock over to us. I ain't signing anything. We'll see about that. All right, come on, you. You're going to come with us. Now, wait just a minute now. If you're going to take me away, well, the least you can do is fetch me my hat and let me put my boots on. All right, but hurry it up. Yeah. Old man, he's got to sign over the stock to us. Come on, you. Easy, Maud. Now, come on, Easy. Come on, you stubborn critter. When I say easy, I mean easy. Oh, come on, Maud. More so hard. More so hard. More so hard. Where are you? More so hard. What's happened, Flapjack? Someone reported they saw a fire up here last night. Where's Mosshorn? Flapjack, I want to know where Mosshorn is. There. He's dead. What? Look, Kimasabi. Cabin of old prospect we meet yesterday burned down. One of those two men is the sheriff. Let's investigate. Sheriff, him maybe ask plenty of questions. We won't let him see us. Let's move closer and listen. Poor Mosshorn. Burned beyond recognition. How did it happen, Flapjack? Uh, what are you doing here? Well, we was going prospecting this morning. What are you trying to give me? The whole town knows you two have feuded too long to ever make up. You were always threatening to kill each other. Oh, that is just talk. We never really meant it. That's not what the whole town is going to think. They know an old desert rat like Mosshorn wouldn't burn himself up in an accident. Uh, let me see your gun. What's the idea, Sheriff? Smells of fresh burnt powder. From yesterday, Walter and me had a little run in, but nobody got hurt. A masked man and an engine stopped us. That's a likely story. We go down there now and tell Sheriff what old man say to Kimisami? No, Taro. We have no proof that Moss Horn wasn't murdered by Flapjack. I think we should do some investigating on our own first. I don't care what you think. Mosshorn and me had buried the hatchet. We was partners again. You must take me for a fool. Flapjack, I'm arresting you for the murder of Mosshorn. I never killed him. I never killed nobody. You and Mosshorn were the only two in these parts that carried cap and ball coals. So, if the coroner finds a round bullet in that body, you'd better get a plenty smart lawyer. Now hurry up and get your burrow. We're taking Mosshorn's body into town. If round bullets found in body, old man be in plenty bad way. In the eyes of the law, it'll be enough to put a rope around his neck. But I can't believe that Flapjack would kill his friend only a few hours after they became partners again. Me wonder about that, too. Flapjack had a chance to kill yesterday. The Code of the West would have justified that. Men gone. We go down there now? Yes, Taro. Come on. Nothing around here. Fire just about destroyed everything. You find anything, Tano? Me only see hoof prints, uh, boot tracks, and mark of burrow. Look, Kimasabi. Me find something. What is it, Tano? It looked like print of bare feet. That's strange. Think you can follow them? Me try. Look 
Looked like two men with boots helped Barefoot Man. I wonder why anyone would be without boots. All three go this way. In their place where three horses wait. What do you make of it, Tyler? Looked like three men with boots get off horses and go toward Shack. Two men with boots and one Barefoot Man come back here. They all mount horses and go north. Look like them ride plenty fast. You'd better ride into town. The townspeople might want to take things into their own hands and lynch Flapjack. The sheriff is an honest man, but he may need help in protecting him. Me understand, Kimasami. What do you do? I'm going to follow these tracks and find out who that barefoot man is. You better hurry. Please don't hurt me no more. Please. You gonna sign now? How much longer do we have to keep fooling around with this old mule head? Well, he can't take much more of your rough stuff, Moose. Well, you'd kill me if I did sign. Because I know too much. I've seen your faces and I know your name. Ah, is... shut up! There must be some other way of softening him up. What's behind that door? It's a vault where they planned on storing the gold until it was shipped. Come in handy when we reopen the mine. Yeah, maybe it'll come in handy now. What do you mean? We'll throw the old desert right in there. Maybe a little while without air will help bring them around to our terms. Yeah. Yeah, that's an idea. Uh, come on, you. Please let me alone, will you? Please. No, no, don't put me in there. Please don't put me in there. When you're ready to sign, yell. All right, Moose. I tell you, I'll never sign. I'll never sign it. A little while in there ought to change his tune. Yeah, well, what if he suffocates, Silk? If he's dead, he can't sign the stock over to us. If he dies, we'll forge his signature. But we might just as well try to get the real thing before we kill him. Say, Matt must have left something neat around here. See if he can rustle up some grub. Yeah, yeah, sure. Let's take a look and see how our friend's doing. Yeah, I should be ready to sign about now. A masked man! I wouldn't do that, mister. What are you doing here? What right have you got coming in here holding a gun on us? You two own this mine? We well, got a financial interest in it. Where'd you get this stock? We found it. You found it in the cabin of an old prospector by the name of Mosshorn. You murdered him. We didn't. His body was found in the ruins of his shack. That wasn't him, that was Jenna. Who was it? Where is Mosshorn? Talk! Where is Mosshorn? There. There. He... Get over by that door. Hurry! Now open it. Oh, my. Yeah. 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 Water. Take it easy, old timer. I'll get you out of here in a minute. I don't know. Get our guns. Yeah. How I, I was a praying that you'd come. But well, now we're just as good as dead. Gotta get out of here somehow. Hey, you're toting your gun. Maybe you can shoot the lock off. Well, it's made of heavy steel. Bullets won't smash it. Uh -huh. Wait a minute. The lock is fastened to the door with large bolts. Well, it ain't no use, Ed. But I ain't gonna let him kill you, though. Hey, you out there, listen to me. I, listen, can you hear me? I'll sign, you hear me? I'll sign. You're too late. We can't let you out while the masked man's in there. Oh, we're, we're goners. Hey, 
The air. Put out the light so that we can save what air there is. I need the light, Moss. I'm to study the lock. There's a little air coming under the door. You just sit still. What about the old man's signature? We haven't got it yet. We'll forge it. Yeah, but what about the bodies? We can't leave them in there to be found. They'll never be found because we're going to plant them six feet under. Come on. Well, what are you looking at? The bolts that hold the lock. They're rusty, but they can be turned off. Yeah, if we had a wrench. Wait a minute. I've got an idea. Hey, what are you doing? Every gun butt is hollow. Now, if I can get the steel frame over the nut, the gun will act as a wrench. It, it, it works. Yeah, this looks like as good a spot as any. Yeah, sure, boss. That's the first one. Three more to go. How deep do we have to dig this grave, Silk? Deep enough to be sure our friends inside won't be found for a long, long time. Half done. Two more to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep digging, Moose. I'm going inside to see if our friends are finished yet. All right, Silk. Just one more, old timer. See that ore, Sheriff? That come out of the mine, and it's just plumb full of gold. <laughs> That's why them two fellows in jail were so dad burn anxious to get the stock certificate. <laughs> Look at there. My wallpaper's worth a million dollars. Yes, sir. <laughs> and half of it is yours, Flapjack. Gee, boss, hon, why, why, you don't have... To... Oh, wait a minute. Well, we're partners, ain't we? The masked man sure got you out of a tight spot, Moss Horn. <laughs> Me too. Hey, Sheriff? I reckon so, Flapjack. Say, uh, where is the masked man, an Indian? I want to know who he is. Do you mean to sit there, Sheriff, and tell me that you ain't figured out who he is? <laughs> Why, he's a lone ranger. Oh, Silver, hoy! Be with the Lone Ranger and Tonto same time next week for new dangers in another thrill-packed adventure. The Lone Ranger rides again.
Lone Ranger. <laughs> 